Well, hey, internet, it's David and Bible review time. I like Bible reviews because I just like Bibles, but anyway, it's a funny thing to me. Even though I enjoy it, it still feels like adult show and tell. I had some f subscribers ask about this and my curiosity was piqued. I have this Thomas Nelson Premier Edition that just came in that I'm going to look at in this video, I have some to compare it with and just give you my thoughts. But just first off, the nicenessness of this for the price point is just outright shocking. I have seen other publishers do uh, fancier Bibles or do things with goat skin, just different things, whatever. And they turn out like all right, about like what you would expect for the price point. But this one blew my mind for the price point. I'm really shocked by it. But let's get into this This Bible. It's a goatskin leather cover, Smithstone. I mean, all these things you can read online. I don't know why I'm reading them, but anyway, Smithstone, edge line. And so again, the edge line means it's going to have like some type of synthetic or leather liner in here. And so it, the cover is very, very soft. It's similar to that of what I'm used to feeling on a Cambridge. So it was really soft, very well done. And 36 GSM paper, black letter text, which I prefer. I'm not sure if they make a premiere in red letter. I didn't do that much research. This was just the one that I'm like, yep, I'll take that one. And uh, 11 point font, which is nice to read. And it does have cross references and a little concordance in the back. I shouldn't say little, any of them in the back are little to me. If it's in the back of a Bible, it's just a little mini concordance. But anyway, it really feels like an Allen reader. Just the way that it opens and just kind of flops there nice. It might even be a little bit floppier than an Allen reader. And so before I show you the Bible, these are two black ribbons and one red ribbon. The front and the back of the ribbon are different. So I've seen pictures of this where one of the black ribbons is flipped and it made me think that it had like a black and some sort of dark or petrol blue ribbon and a red. But if you've seen those pictures and know what I'm talking about, then it's just two black ribbons and a red ribbon which is fine. But anyway, the attention to detail, again, for the price point was just amazing. And so one of the things on Bibles, typically you don't find unless you get an Allen or a Schuyler or a really, really high-end one, is just the art guilt perimeter on here. It has nothing to do with you finding Jesus in the Word. But when you open it up, you can see it just frames it nice, especially if you have art guilt pages like you have on this one with a little bit of red underneath. It looks like a more subdued red with, uh, with gold, but it just frames it in nice. And so here you can see that it's a very similar format to what we're used to seeing. Um, what distinguishes this from the Schuyler Quintel format is the footnotes and the cross references are all mixed together at the bottom. I kind of prefer how the footnotes and the cross-references are separate on the Quintel because it helps you know what area to look and what, but uh, I think the Quintel system is a little bit faster, but still it's reminiscent of the Quintel, reads very similar, similar font. Um, the only thing that I would say, and I'm going to get nitpicky, because of the niceness of this Bible, it seems like the book headings, especially when you get into the new a new book, it doesn't seem to me just like a timeless typeface. Very modern looking typeface to me, which is fine. If you like a modern looking typeface, then that's fine. But I like the timeless look of how they put even just the quintels together. Um, just my personal opinion. But this seems to be a popular trend that I'm seeing in a lot of Bibles is laying them out like that. But the paper is really nice. Again, 36 GSM. Uh, good enough margins to continue to write in or uh, cross-reference and so I'm sure this thing can take writing and highlighting. I have not done that yet. But anyway, uh, I wanted to conclude with just showing you some videos for size reference. First, I'm going to take this old 1975 Moody Press New American Standard this seems to be a common edition and a common size that uh, 
would give you a good frame of reference for how big this is. Because this is not like a small personal size, but it's not like this giant print, giant thing. It's a, just a good, like, when I think Bible, especially before I got into all these bigger ones that I'm enjoying, this was just the size that I'm like, yeah, that's the size a Bible should be. Actually, when I leave the country, this is the one that comes with me because I found it at like two, for $2 at a half price books and I would be heartbroken if something happened to it or if it ended up lost. But uh, this is the one that I just, I don't have to care about it getting beat up, slide it into my backpack or wherever and just take this one overseas with me. Anyway, let me compare it to this one for you. Up next, because I have a friend that specifically asked about the size comparison to the Cambridge wide margin, I'm going to compare it with that and some of the fonts. So pardon the writing in this one, because I've used this one for many years. Anyway, it'll still give you a good size reference, and then just please note this is one of the older ones with the flat spine. They have a round spine, but it's still the same, same footprint. So here you go with the wide margin. Finally, to give you another point of reference, if you're familiar with the Skylar Quintel, is honestly about the same footprint as this one, as well as an Allen Reader's, and this is just one of my ESV readers. So I will put these, just kind of all three together, for time's sake, so you can get a frame of reference for the size of this guy as well. Very uh, comparable Bible, and again, it feels very, similar in handling. To me, just these golden little imprints look cheap to me. That's, again, just my opinion. And that's why when I saw these in pictures, I expected a lesser quality. So when it came in, I was still blown away. It's way nicer in person than it looks like on the picture, but they did a good job. For the price point, to have it feel similar to a Skylar or an Allen is just a uh, good job they did with this. And the cover is just so soft and squishy. Good job, you guys. All right, and then if you enjoy the work of this channel, your support would be such a blessing to me and my family over on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. And then you'll get more access to the audio Bible project that I'm working on. Galatians is just released today. I'll have it up on YouTube in the next couple days. I don't want to post too many videos in one day, but uh, that's ready to go. It's already on Bandcamp. And so if you like the music playing behind this video or any of my videos that's also available for download at forloveoftheword.bandcamp.com and Galatians which came out today the audio bible I'm working on is also available there so the patreon link and the music download link will all be in the description and thanks for watching this video bye